This is the 2017 Mazda 3 five door. Very similar to the sedan. I'll talk about a little bit about the differences uh, having driven both. So from this angle, it's even hard to tell that this is the wagon, not the sedan. They're very similar in the way they drive in a lot of ways. Just that this one has more space in the back. Um, they changed the LEDs on the 2017 and the grill a little bit and the bumper up there. Uh, mostly cosmetic changes interior and exterior. Uh, for the most part, I'll link to the 2016 sedan at the end of this. I do like the design of this car though, the long hood. Very nice rims on this particular model as well. And then back here, the, they did a nice job make, sloping off the fact it's a wagon making it look good. They're very proud this was an IIHS top safety pick as well. So, nice looking car though. Uh, do love that color as well. And then in the back here, they changed the lights around and made some minor nips and tucks for 2017 just to keep it looking fresh and keep it looking up there. From the back, it just looks very European, very fresh. Those LED uh, type of lights back there look amazing. Uh, but let's also talk about the interior. As you get into this car, it's just a very nice place to be. This car does look nicer outside. It's really the inside where Mazda made the most improvements. Uh, you can tell there's a lot of Mazda 6 in this car. Uh, love the new steering wheel, you know, really nice design there. Definitely lots more leather look trim up there. Thing on it, uh, on the door there, revise the console a little bit. This is probably the biggest area. They went to an electronic parking brake, which opened up space in here for some cup holders. And then also a deeper console down here. Uh, the seats are also have been uh, changed a little bit. I don't know, they're a little bit more comfortable, I think, but it mostly they just look nicer. I love this white leather interior. It'd be impossible to keep clean on my car, but it looks amazing. Coming to the back here, just under six feet, uh, do have room, plenty of headroom. It's actually very high up. They, they've uh, uh, brought the ceiling up at, back here, so tall people would do very well back here. One quirk back here though. Here in the uh, States, this is a front wheel drive car and you only normally see this on rear wheel drive cars, uh, so or all wheel drive cars. So not sure what Mazda's plans are for the future there, uh, but this comes up quite a bit more than I've seen in, in other uh, front wheel drive cars. Uh, so that was kind of interesting to me. So I was tempted to do this as an even shorter review because it's so similar to the sedan. Uh, that I'll be posting to at the end. Uh, biggest difference back here is this, you do get, uh, this is actually pretty equal uh, to this trunk space of the sedan. Uh, you do get this nice cover here. But um, what you don't quite get in the sedan is, is quite this much, you get maybe similar length if you folded the seats of the sedan down, but you definitely don't get as much width. And if you take this piece out, it's fully removable, you get a lot of height, so you can put some bigger items back here. Uh, this is now that they're making hatchbacks look this good and let me show you I mean this is a really good looking hatchback uh, Some I have not been a fan of the looks on uh, but this guy. It's just really really uh, Nice looking there the way they've designed this back here. It almost looks like some of the uh, Infinity SUVs that I'm a huge fan Checking of. out the engine there Pretty standard engine uh, for Mazda So one thing I love when you start this car up this uh, head-up display flips up here and has all the driving information you could ever want all right guys so we're gonna take it on a little bit of a drive I'm gonna talk you through the various aspects of the car as we are going so first off like the electronic parking brake uh, that is helpful but on a manual it is a little bit harder to tell because uh, I'm just so used to you know reaching down and seeing if it's on that way um, I mean it should always be on but a uh, little bit of a, a bit of a change there. Uh, so the steering, uh, this car is very similar to the 2016 review I did. Outside the exterior, um, you know, changes in the front and the back. Uh, and of course it's a wagon, but it actually drives very much like the sedan versions would. Um, and of course the interior changes. It drives very similar to the 2016. Um, so I won't go into as much detail on the driving part as I did uh, there. I, I actually couldn't tell it has Mazda's new uh, kind of torque vectoring technology in the steering. Steering and suspension on this car is sublime. I have said before, BMW made, and then I know they do in Europe, a front wheel drive car. Uh, this would be a very communicative steering, uh, very um, tight, you know, tight suspension, yet also has a decent ride. Uh, this reminds me, you know, 
of some of my older E46 Type 3 series. It, it's that pure um, and that communicative with with what it does. Brakes are good. In the sedan wagon form, I think the Mazda 3 has the Honda Civic beat. Uh, I will say though that Honda Civic Coupe, which I'll post the link to at the end, was definitely as much fun um, as the you know Mazda 3 aspirated versus the turbocharger uh, on this guy. So uh, wouldn't mind a turbo on here actually. Um, I definitely do. You know I've said about the Miata. I don't think it needs a lot more power, but I think it could benefit from some more. Uh, this car as well. It's definitely. A, not slow, but it has left you wanting at times. So the trade-off for that is that the efficiency of this car, it's very, very efficient. I've averaged, you know, almost 30 miles a gallon and I don't drive the car as easily. You know, on the highway, it's it's phenomenal. A comfortable car for, for long trips. Well, you know, I'm a huge fan of Mazdas. I believe that, you know, their small cars and even cars like the Mazda 6 are some of the best out there. Um, if you want me to compare it to some specific competitors, I can a below. I think the closest car to this uh, is probably the Civic. Um, there's an Elantra Sport now uh, out comparing base model to base model. This is definitely more of the driver's car, uh, you know, in the group. Corolla and Sentra are just so, uh, you know, overdue for a refresh um, that, that it wouldn't really be fair to compare those uh, cars uh, to this. Um, let me know what anything you think I'm missing. I'm, I'm you know, trying to grab all the major competitors. Do love that head up display. Like I said, most of the Mazda 6 nice interior bits and technology has trickled down to this car. What One kind of fun fact, this car does have radar guided cruise control, lane keeping assist, a lot of technology like that, which is kind of uh, rare to find in a manual transmission. Uh, I like that they didn't you know, preclude that just because you have the manual transmission because the car is doing so much of the work uh, for you and practically driving itself in those situations. Um, it, it's interesting that they paired that and found a way to pair that with the manual. I think that's pretty impressive. So this is going to be kind of the controversial part of the video. All the Mazda uh, press cars uh, tend to be in manual love, but also I haven't seen the numbers on this car, but generally speaking now, good automatic transmissions, as you guys know, are faster than you know a manual type system. Since this car could use that little bit of extra power, if, if it's an automatic that shifts fast and has paddles, uh, you might want to drive them, I would say drive them both. Everybody should learn to drive a manual car, period, hands down. It's a great skill to have. If you know someone with a manual, probably not, uh, you know, like a new one, but if you know someone with one, go out for a day, go in a parking lot or, you know, some empty streets, learn to do it. I'll post that video soon. Uh, on you know teaching my camera assistant how to drive a manual she mastered it within you know an afternoon and if you need it in a zombie apocalypse someday or you go to Europe uh, where manuals are a lot bigger than they are in the US would I buy this car with my own money absolutely uh, or if I don't have any kids um, but if someday you know my kid was buying a first car I was looking for a first car if you're showing this to your parents what's kind of cool is it's not a super powerful fast car uh, but it does have good handling. Uh, it's almost Porsche-like, and and what I mean by that I mean is it's very forgiving, which is important, you know, for for a first car. Um, like Mustangs, for example, even if you're a pretty good driver, um, you hear all those jokes about them because they're not the most forgiving, you know, cars in the world. Yet a lot of kids get those as their first car. Plus, you can get a whole lot of safety technology on this car. Uh, not only blind spot uh, monitoring, which is in the mirrors there, I think every car should have it because every car you know, has blind spots to a degree. The other one is lane keeping assistance, so if it senses you leaving your lane, it can either at least vi uh, let you know, and in this case, it can even help you stay in your lane. That's a great option uh, on here, as well as the radar guided cruise control uh, and like pedestrian uh, warning as well. That being said, if you want to save a little bit of money, don't necessarily maybe even didn't notice the exterior changes or uh, you know don't care too much about the interior check out the 2016s of this car if they still have them around or used ones Mazdas have great reliability uh, and um, you know you'll save a little bit of money there um, but the changes they made for 2017 even though it was a mid-cycle refresh at the end of the day uh, they definitely made the car 
um, you know, a lot better able to compete with. I, I would say that its biggest competitor is the new Civic. Let me know if you think of something I missed down below in the comments. Teaching my camera assistant to drive manual, roll back as I've been saying that, video soon. I'm no way an expert in the subject. Until next time, my speedy racers, drive on.